I always wanted to have kids. That was never off the, off the plan, but I just thought it would happen. So for me, my career came first and there was never a thought in my mid-20s that it wasn't going to happen. It was just, it will happen when I'm finished netball. I think what perturbs me is that these women are not really freaked out by the thought of not having regular cycles. They don't really care that they're not getting regular periods. They actually like not getting regular periods. Of course, until the time comes when they actually need to have regular cycles to fall pregnant. Every time you left the doctor's surgery, you felt quite kind of deflated and almost, what's wrong with me? And why isn't this happening? And I'm doing everything that they're telling me to do. Everyone said, like, you know, it just takes time. It could take a year. But when you get to two and a half years, you're like, well, well why not me? When we decided to have Henry, we were at a point in our lives where we, we thought we were ready, we were healthy, we were fit, and we were trying and, and basically nothing was happening and nothing happened for, oh, I'd probably say two and a half years. And we weren't quite sure what was going on because I was doing my running, my partner's quite athletic and fit himself, so we were both in fantastic spot. But yeah, nothing was quite right. Having to ease up that exercise just to give my body that little bit of de-stress because I don't think people realise when you run ultra marathons, it, it's not a normal load of running. You're putting your body through so much strain and stress. So you could be healthy, you may have like the lowest body fat percentage possible. But the fact is, is that you are constantly pushing your body to achieve more and more and more and more. Um, and it's that kind of self-talk where it's like, okay, A, now you found out there's something wrong with you, but B, you also need to take a step back and start to realise that if you want to actually achieve this goal of being a mother, you need to then allow your body to do that. I retired in 2018 and I thought straight away I'd be, you know, family was my next step. We tried to have kids straight away. We was even trying when I was playing, but obviously not too strict with all the procedures and things like that. But it didn't happen for me straight away. So for me, it was getting impatient. My body usually does what I want it to do in terms of training and things like that, but it just wasn't happening. We train so hard that our menstrual cycle is a lot smaller, a lot irregular. We don't have it monthly. We might have three or four months without it, or we might even skip them. We just do that because it's convenient at the time because it's all about your competition schedule and your training schedule and what you're gonna get best out of your body. So you're not actually thinking what that's gonna do long-term to your body. When a woman's not having a regular menstrual cycle, it can mean that she's actually not ovulating at all. And if you're not ovulating, you're not going to be able to fall pregnant. Or if you're not ovulating regularly, you won't know when to time intercourse to fall pregnant. And often these menstrual irregularities are because women are over-exercising, but to match the exercise, they're not eating enough. So it's usually because they're not actually getting enough fuel. And they're, as a consequence, are not sufficient in their fat mass, which is really important. So uh, menstrual irregularities can play a huge role in these women conceiving. I think I was malnourished. Uh, I was eating a lot, but not enough for someone that was running so far. 
So if I was to look at what I was eating in a day, a regular person who was not doing any running and was having a healthy diet was probably eating the same amount that I was eating. My nails were brittle, my hair was breaking. All the signs were there, I just, I didn't want to see it because I loved what I did so much. And I think that's the problem where my body was kind of screaming at me and telling me what you're doing isn't healthy but I loved what I did so much that I just didn't want to hear. We do have medical examinations every year and we do go through every muscle and every joint and everything about our bodies, but we just don't talk about fertility. There's more talk of it now, but it's still not really openly spoken about. Yes, you don't want kids right now and we're not gonna try and change your training schedule or anything like that, but maybe you should go talk to someone just to see what there is available for you. And I speak to a lot of the younger girls now and say, just go get your eggs frozen. Like it's not a hard process. You're not gonna miss training sessions or games. It's just a process that you should think about. Um, so we plan everything else in our lives, but we just don't plan that part of it. I feel that it's, it's important that we stress to these women that there's absolutely no guarantee that if you freeze 30 or 40 mature eggs in your 20s, that you will absolutely get pregnant from that batch of eggs. So I think it's important that women are aware of the fact that you won't know if you will be able to fall pregnant until you absolutely start trying. We think, let's just keep going, keep going, and then we'll do that at the end. Whereas New Zealanders and that often have babies come back and are very successful. I think it's because as Australian athletes, if we give that year up or that two years up, we lose our spot to a younger player and it's very hard to come back, which it is, but it also, it's competitive and we don't want to give up that opportunity to someone else who might take it and run with it and then we're never coming back. So it's a mindset of, I'm in there at the moment, I don't want to give that up. I'll worry about that later. I love running, but Henry is my greatest love of all. We do everything together. And I'm so grateful um, because he's so much like me. He's a little outdoorsy, active little gem. He loves people. And we go on so many adventures together. I wouldn't change Henry for the world. He's, he is my absolute everything. I've always been in control of everything in my life, so all of a sudden my life is just going to be turned upside down, which is exciting. But yeah, I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones, and that's pretty one thing that I wake up and realise. If I'm not feeling well, I'm like, hang on, so many people are going through this that can't. Um, so for me, it's just that gratefulness that actually worked for me.